I want to talk about purgatory and some people believe in this myth, in this lie, in this false doctrine. Some people may not know what purgatory is, so what is it? In Roman Catholic doctrine, a place or state of suffering inhabited by the souls of sinners who are expiating their sins before going to heaven. Hmm. So let's look up the word expiating. Atone for guilt or sin. So if you die in sin, what this is saying, you would go to purgatory and depending upon what your sins were, that is going to determine how long you are going to be in purgatory for. How convenient. <laughs> when you die, you are either going to heaven or hell. There is no in-between place. Heaven or hell. That's it. Depending on how you live this life, that is going to determine where you are going to go heaven or hell. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verses 9 through 10. Know ye not that the unrighteous should not inherit the kingdom of God. So I can stop right here to prove my point. This is saying that the unrighteous is not going to go to heaven. I could stop right here to prove my point. Let's continue. Be not deceived. So be not deceived of these false doctrines of purgatory. This once saved, always saved, where all you have to do is believe in Jesus Christ and you can sin all you want and get to go to heaven after death. That is a myth. That is false. False doctrine. As long the same with purgatory. Be not deceived, neither fornicators. So what is fornication? Let's look it up. Sexual intercourse between people not married to each other. So many people are doing this and you have to know that it is a sin. Okay. Nor idolaters. What is idolatry? Let's look it up. Idolatry, worship of idols. Okay. <laughs> worship of idols. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Okay. Where am I? Nor adulterers. What is adultery? Let's look it up. Well, I don't think I have it up here, but adultery is having sex with someone that is married that you are not married to. Okay. Nor effeminate. What does that mean? Effeminate. Having or showing characteristics regarded as typical of a woman, unmanly. That is a sin, according to the Bible nor abusers of themselves with mankind. That is homosexuals. Verse 10, nor thieves, which are people who steal, nor covetous. So what does covetous mean? Having or showing a great desire to possess something, typically something belonging to someone else. Okay. nor drunkards, so people who get drunk, nor revilers. What does revile mean? Let's look it up. Criticize in an abusive or angrily insulting manner. So talking crazy to a person, really rude, really mean. Okay. Nor 
extortioners. What is extortion? The practice of obtaining something, especially money, through force or threats. Blackmail, shakedown, exaction. Okay. Shall inherit the kingdom of God. So basically, if you die as a sinner, you are not going to heaven. So there is no in-between place that you can work off your sins than get to go to heaven when you die in sin. So once you die in sin, you are going to hell. So what you may say to me, what can I do to avoid hell? Basically, repent of your sins. God, please forgive me of all my sins. You can say that each time you do something bad, but try to not break any of God's rules and regulations. And if it is possible, name each individual sin that you have committed. That is better. For instance, God, please forgive me of cursing this person out. Please forgive me for lusting after this woman or man. So name each individual sin if you can. And from there, read your Bible and pray more often as well. Maintain your salvation. That's it. But you can't believe that you can die in sin, go to this in-between place that you can work off your sins, then go to heaven afterward. It does not work that way. It does not work that way. That is purgatory. No. Purgatory is a myth. As well as this once saved, always saved doctrine that is out confusing people and making people fail with things of God. So I pray that this makes sense. No purgatory. Tell other people about this. Get a King James Version Bible. If you don't have one, you can ask me for one and I will try to send you one. God bless.